Alright guys, welcome. I'm gonna close this. Come on. Welcome guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jacob Owens of the Buff Nerds, and if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested in how I did the color for my Caribbean travel video. Now um, when I did the color for this video, um, and generally in all the videos I do, I color my own work, and a lot of people ask me, do I color my own work, do I use LUTs, um, and all that good stuff, and the answer is yes, I do use LUTs, a lot of the time they are LUTs that I've created, um, on this particular occasion, it's these new LUTs from this company called Tropic Color, they're an awesome new company that, um, was able to send me a lot of their LUTs ahead of time before they kind of launched and went public to test out and use. So I used one of their LUTs um, among a few other things to color this video. And I've had a lot of people recently ask me on this video, this uh, Caribbean video, what I did to color it. Um, did I add a softening effect, a glow, um, and, and different things like that. And so I'm gonna get into all of that really quickly, try and break down the color of this video um, as quickly as possible, but yet give you as much information as possible. So first, whenever I'm coloring all of my videos, I always color with an adjustment layer. So all the footage below this, these adjustment layers are just the raw, not raw, but the flat clip. So if I delete them, you'll see here, um, that's the flat cinema style footage out of the Canon 1DX. And then I pop that back on and this is my color. So typically, I'll throw an adjustment layer all the way across and that's where my base color will come from. So as you can see right here, I've added the Lumetri color effect. And if I break that down, you can kind of see um, what I did color wise inside of this Lumetri color effect. So one of the first things I did is the color temperature was a little um, too warm, too yellow. So I brought down the color temperature a little bit. Um, and when I bring that down to the blues um, a little colder, I usually like to boost my tint slightly. Um, they kind of I love I like pulling those in opposite directions when coloring second the clip was Slightly overexposed. So I just um, dropped the exposure a little bit um, Contrast I wanted a lot of contrast in the image to really make the colors pop So I boosted the contrast and again to help boost you know to kind of implement that I took the shadows down so contrast up shadows down to kind of give it this more crushed black kind of feel um, and I also like to give uh, my videos a little bit of a faded look, but that'll come in a second. So you'll see, I like to usually boost the contrast, take the shadows down, boosted the saturation. And then here's where one of the LUTs came into play. This is one of, so I always apply my LUT, not in the basic section up here, uh, where it says input LUT. I always put it, input the LUT down here in the creative section. And the reason that is is because you can dial back the intensity of the LUT. A lot of LUTs, depending on the footage they were um, created for, blah, 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 um, they can be too intense for your footage and your picture style. So um, putting it down here in the creative section, you're able to dial back the intensity. So I have it at, at about 30% strength right now. And this is a LUT from uh, Tropic Colors uh, Nature Pack. So this is the half dome LUT that I inputted from their nature pack. I dialed back the intensity to 30. If I take it to 100, you can kind of see it's probably a little OD. Give it a second here. Yeah, so you can see it's just like a little too strong, a little too much. So um, I dialed it back to about a 30. We can even try a 35. Um, so anyways, dial it back. So now it still has great color, retains all that. Um, good quality color from the LUT and here you go so here's where you can add a faded look to your video so again I like to crush the blacks and the contrast and then boost um, the faded film um, slider right here typically anywhere from 30 um, yeah like 30 to 50 I think is my usually typical range um, here I went a little more uh, with 60 if I take this down to zero you can see here when it loads um, that fade on this video kind of goes away see Slight and subtle, but um, the reason it's not as impactful um, is because again the intensity is taken down. So that's why usually the the fade was taken up so high to 60. Um, so my bad. I actually typically range the fade anywhere from 
uh, 20 to 30, but because the intensity is so dialed back on this LUT um, and under the creative section, I had to boost the faded film um, even more than typical. So when I boost the saturation, a lot of times I like to take down the vibrance. Um, and again, down here um, with this LUT, I boosted the saturation um, down here as well. So that's like my overall main color um, that is affecting all these clips below the adjustment layer. So again, whatever is on this adjustment layer, anything below it is going to be affected by what you've attached to the adjustment layer. So since my color is on this adjustment layer, all these clips are affected by this overall color. Um, then once I'm done with the video, I go in and fine tune individual clips if they're too bright, too dark, need more contrast, etc. But my overall color sits right here on the adjustment layer. On top of using the Lumetri color effect, I like to use this effect called levels. Um, I pretty much use it on every single video. So I usually throw that on the same layer that my color is. Um, and there's only two sliders I play with on here. The RGB black and the RGB white, these two top ones right here. Typically I boost the blacks um, a decent amount. Right now I have it set to 40, typically it's at zero. So if we move it to zero, you can see what uh, that does here. And there we go. So you see it's just like way too faded. Um, so what I did is I boosted the black levels and I can even go to 50 to really show you guys. Um, boost that to 50, give it a second and bam. So that looks great. So it kind of takes that fade away a little bit, kind of crushes the blacks even more. And then 50, 250 here on the whites. Typically this sits at 255 if you haven't messed with it. And what this does is it affects basically kind of the, the bright whites of the image. So if I drag this way down, you'll see the image in a second here. You know, whoa, way OD. So um, I only dropped it about five to like 250 to kind of just help the whites pop a little bit. So those are the two effects on my top layer, the color and levels. And then typically I usually do another adjustment layer below that, which will be the more softening, Cosmo, sharpen effects, um, less color stuff and more effects stuff. So again, color is on my top adjustment layer and then down on this adjustment layer is where I have some of the effects. So sharpen, um, I usually sharpen the video slightly, anywhere from 20 to 30. Right now I have this video sharpened at uh, 25. So um, the sharpen effect is uh, put on this adjustment layer right here. Um, and now magic bullet is typically something I use often. Um, and so on this adjustment layer, I'm gonna come into magic bullet here. And what I have set in magic bullet is I have the Cosmo effect which if you can see, I'm kind of toggling it off and on. It kind of gives it this softened uh, feel so everything's not too sharp and over HD crispy. Um, I like to give like a softer look to, nothing crazy, but just enough softness to kind of soften up the image a little bit because typically film is gonna be very soft and where you get sharp videos like HD video, like it's not, you know that stuff is sharp whereas film is typically if you're shooting on film stock it's going to be softer and not as sh tack sharp so I always add a little bit of Cosmo right now I have it set to 10 usually I'm anywhere between 10 and 20 percent on the uh, skin softness and you can see the more I boost it the more the image softens but so I had this one set to 10 and then this is the other biggest thing that I utilize in um, <coughs> magic bullet here is diffusion Diffusion kind of gives it this highlight glow. You can see this glow here when I toggle on and off. I use diffusion in every single video. It, sometimes very little, sometimes more, um, but it just creates this dreamlike kind of glow um, and that's what I utilize. And what I'll typically do for diffusion is I set the glow anywhere from 70 to around 90. Um, and again, this varies depending on the project. Right now I had it set to 70 and I make sure it affects the highlights only. I, so you notice if I drag it down, it kind of muddies the whole image because it's affecting everything in the image. I want this glow and diffusion to only happen in the highlights. So only the bright areas is where it's gonna have this kind of like dreamlike glow. Grade, I think typically it sits at a three when you put it on. Um, I'll, I had it set to I think like a 225. Um, the higher you raise it, you can see it just like boosts the effect, the lower you take it down all the way to zero and it's gone. So I had it set to around a 225, I think. And then size, you can see the size. If I 
slide it left, not there, right, it's there. Um, typically anywhere from 15 to 20, um, had it set to 20, or 15, sorry. So yeah, on and off, so again, those are the two filters. And then something I use every so often um, on like a general video is the edge softness, which you can find under here under the lens, drag the edge softness on, and this kind of just helps me like blur the outside. You notice, see if I drag it in close, you can see how everything is blurred outside of that focal point. So if I toggle it on and off, you can see how it just blurs on and off. So I typically like to kind of just boost this up and then just blur the outside edges of all the images. And it what that does is, for me at least, brings your attention to the center of the image, what you're shooting. Kind of just blurs out these edges a bit, brings your focus there. So, um, all in all, that is, oh, last, the very last thing I did is I added a secondary uh, Lumetri color effect to the layer below. Um, nothing, nothing crazy. It was just a vintage LUT that I had, had pulled, not from uh, Tropic Color, but I forget where this one was from. I had, I've had it for like over a year. And again, I just dialed the intensity back to 40. Um, it's just subtly laying there. Um, so nothing crazy. Sometimes you can utilize multiple LUTs on an image by just, you know, changing the intensities. One does something, one may be a little flatter while the other one's very saturated and you can combine different LUTs to give you a great image. You don't need to just use only one LUT on an image. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys were able, I know that was pretty fast. I know it was pretty quick, but I hope you guys were able to kind of take away, um, you know, a little bit of the color and how I color my videos, how I colored this video, um, and how you can color your videos in Adobe Premiere. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. You know, let's talk in the comments below. Uh, would love to answer any questions you have because I know this went quick and I know that was a lot to take in. Um, but again, you know, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check out Tropic Color. Their LUTs are amazing. That's what I use to color this video. Um, and yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching. And I am out.